throwing a spoon rest um, with 250 grams of clay. Uh, these are really easy to make the way that I'm currently making them, although they're not really something that I've made much of before, so there might be a better way of doing it. But um, yeah, 250 grams of clay. These are on my Hartley and Noble um, bat system. And the advantage to this, especially since it's new, and some of these bats are brand new, um, is that they are really smooth. So the clay releases from them and doesn't really need much doing to it. So what I do is I let them dry on it until they pop off and then just burnish the bottom and add a slip foot. So it makes them very easy to throw. And then all I do is throw them to somewhere near the limit of this tile, so 15 centimeter tile. So throw it to about 12, 13 centimeters diameter, which means it will fire down to um, 10, 11 centimeters. You just throw a plate, pull a little wall up, and then for, let me get this bit done first, undercut slightly, um, put a swirl in if you're going to. Burnish the rim if you're going to. Uh, I'm to slip off. And then all I do is because these are the square tiles, I want to come out in a corner, but you just flatten the wall one point. And so now you can put your utensils on it. Um, and that's Basically, it come back and it's a bit firmer and remove all the, the kind of the finger marks from the slip. But it's that simple. So just set that aside to dry. Um, probably by tomorrow it will pop off, if not the day after. Got the first fired one out of the kiln. So this is what they will end up looking like. Uh, I think this one's probably a fraction smaller than the ones that I threw before that I videoed. But you've got the slip foot and the glaze. I ambitiously stopped it right at the lip. And then the thing that I was I stood it on didn't quite clear it. So the, that one spot the glaze ran enough to touch. I mean, it's still sandable back, but um, Otherwise, it's formed a really nice bead around the edge, but unfortunately stuck there. But that's basically it. So, glazed all over. Glazed these, I mean, it's really simple. Um, as per a lot of my other glazing videos, wax just the middle so the dent puller can stick to it. And then I'll dip to get a contrast glaze just around the rim and then floating blue across the rest of it. But uh, these have been drying on the bats for a little while and they will just pop off like that. So you want to position it so that the Giffen grip doesn't grip on the uh, kind of, what do we call that, sticky out bit. And basically all I'll do is very quickly level the base off just to get the very small amount of texture that's there and then burnish it with uh, sort of green I think that's medium firm firm not tools rib anyway the green one and then you've got two ways of doing this bit normally I just undo it and then pin it um, to trim the edge. But what you can do is if you get, this is a lid from one of my glaze ingredient pots, it's about the same height as the, um, the top of those. So anything you sit on it will now be floating 
uniformly but with a bit of clearance so you can trim around. And just burnish that so it's nice and smooth and finished. And finally, I've got um, a slip bottle. This is one of the Zeme ones, but actually, I found the other day you can get cheaper, less good versions of them. Um, so these are kind of they all, everything screws together really nice and solidly, but you can get a pack of 20 of these with. Um, just push fit uh, nozzles whereas these screw on so obviously you couldn't put much pressure without the nozzle coming off but you can get them on Amazon for a tenth of the price so I've got both Zeem's my preferred one but um, can't argue with having a dozen of them with different colour slips in you know, sometimes that's really useful just to have them all going at the same time so make sure you've got Plenty of slip up at the nozzle end and hopefully no air bubbles. And just a nice continuous bead, and that is now a raised slip foot. And it saves a whole lot of wasted clay from um, throwing extra and trimming back.